What's up, YouTube? Rob here, bringing you the final episode of Season 4 of the Tigers franchise mode here. Now we the show 18. We are here, Part 2 of the offseason. We are making another trade here, and we'll be moving Jose Iglesias. I know he was the playoff or World Series MVP for us to finally defeat the Nationals for the third time in four years, but we are going to move Iglesias because we need to make room for Raul Mondesi, 23 years old. He had a taste of the majors in September. Did great for us. So we're going to offer that trade. Get a first base prospect in BJ, uh, PJ Pike or BJ Pike. Because we're going to move. We moved Miggy to first. Or th or I think we still need to do that. So we did this trade. Miggy will be at first. Because we have Machado now to play third. We're going to call up Mondesi and then we'll call up Greg Bird a little bit later on in the video. Because we'll have him off, Greg Bird off the bench. So Pike will take his spot in AAA. We got to switch them around. So we'll put uh, uh, Mondesi at short. Let's put him there. Okay. And we'll again, continue to switch around the rotation and the lineup and stuff as we need to. We're going to make a couple other trades in this episode, too, before we wrap things up all together for the season. So let's put Montezzi there. We'll move everyone around again where we need to later on. We're just putting him there for now. So his expectation is platoon. He's going to be every day shortstop switch hitter. So we'll continue to grow. Well, with the big league club. So now we are going to promote Greg Bird. We'll put BJ Pike down to Triple A. He's just got to pass through waivers first. So that's good. He has pretty good stats, and he'll progress in the minors. But we're going to make another trade. We're going to move Cespedes. He's been struggling a lot the last couple seasons. His only strong suit has been. Um, defense but that's slowly declining too so we'll take Braxton Davidson from the Atlanta Braves he will be another outfielder off the bench for us we're going to move Derek Hill to primary position of left field he will end up dropping one overall point from an 83 to an 82 but he'll be fine we might move him back to center but keep him in left later on if we need to so Derek Hill is there we're gonna move one of these other left fielders to center for more center field depth yeah cause we only have Mookie Betts, Craig Taylor and Johnny Zambrano so let's move uh, who has better speed not much we're definitely I think season 5 we're gonna focus on outfielders again Let's move Wes Stearns, who was our draft pick, one or one of our late round draft picks last season or this past season. We'll move him to center, keep his secondary positions as outfield. I don't think that really changes much for him, at least right now. Still a 53 overall seat potential, 21 years of age, so he can grow. We're gonna have to probably call one of them up to AAA, but we'll do that off screen. We're gonna make another trade. And that will be with Justin Verlander. We need to make room in the rotation for Rizal Iglesias, who has not exactly liked being in the bullpen for the past season or two, or season and a half, something like that. So we're going to move him to the Marlins. We're going to get their closing prospect, Ozzy Reyes. We need some closing depth after... Um, for triple and double A, for where I was going with that sentence. So we're going to check and see if we could pick up anyone else in the process. Uh, Soto, 22. Uh, we might throw him in. But let's see. I think we might just go straight up. Get one of the Marlins' top prospects for Verlander. Get something good in return, even though it's a one-for-one -one deal. But we're going to offer this trade to Miami. See if they take it. I don't think we're going to toss anyone else in here Again, this in part one we're pre-recorded so I'm trying to recall exactly what I did when I was recording this 
the other day. So Justin Verlander, I don't think we're, yeah, we'll put, yeah, we'll send Justin Verlander to Miami if they take it. We'll move Robertson to the three hole in the rotation. DeGrom will move up to four, and then Iglesias will be the five starter. We might have some competition for him with some other guys. But what we'll do is put Iglesias in the rotation. And we're going to call up one of our top, if not the top, pitching prospect for us in Josh Gaskins. We're going to put him in the long relief role. So let's move Robert Stevenson and DeGrom up. Put Iglesias there. We're going to go... See, he'll get used to that being in the rotation now. So let's go over to roster. We're going to go over to starting pitcher. Come on. No, we're going to check something else first, I guess. All right, so Gas Gaskins, top pitching prospect. We have options to bring up Benford if we put him on the 40-man or Kent Emanuel, but we're going to go with the younger choice, 77 overall, a potential Josh Gaskins he could slot into the rotation if someone gets hurt during the season and he's happy to just be on the big league club in general regardless whether that's bullpen or whatever he's fine with depth but he'll be in the bullpen and we saw a brief showing of him in September as well and he did very well so that's the rotation for now unless we make any other moves so we have David Price Julio Tehran Robert Stevenson, Jacob DeGrom, and Rizal Iglesias. And the newer additions to the bullpen are Joe Jimenez and Josh Gaskins. So that's everything for right now with the bullpen and rotation. So lineup, we are good there. We have Greg Bird, Braxton Davidson, Danny Santana, and Brian Batiste on the bench. Mookie Betts, Derek Hill, Manny Machado, Miguel Cabrera, Aaron Judge, Peter O'Brien, Steven Piscotti, Dixon Machado, and Raul Mondesi. That's a terrifying young lineup, if you ask me. Surrounding Miguel Cabrera with a young core for the future. If it's absolutely necessary, we may trade Miggy during Season 5 or Season 6 if he continues to decline. But he's still a 99 overall, so I don't think he's declining he was an out of 97 but now we move him back to first so he's back up a couple overalls so we're good there winter meetings will simulate past rule 5 draft is coming up next I don't think we're gonna need to take anyone so let's just check and see if any familiar names go off the board from us uh, I don't think that was anyone we have picked 29 Brandon Nemo from the Mets I don't think we're going to take anybody here, but we're just going to see who's an option. Uh, I don't think anyone that would be major league ready right now. We don't really need to do much. So I think we're going to skip the Rule 5 draft, and we're going to move a little forward. But let's just make sure we're not passing on any potential gems. Ryan Healy, JT Riddle. All right, uh, nothing too attention grabbing, if you ask me. So we're gonna skip the Rule Five draft. We didn't lose anyone. So Diamondbacks have an offer. E Eli Calderon for Josh Hatter. I don't think we're gonna do that. Josh Hatter's 25 B potential. For no, we're not gonna do that. No thanks, Arizona. Let's continue to skip forward. Junichi Tazawa goes to the Rockies from the Red Sox. Surprised he's still in the league and hasn't retired yet, but I think we're going to figure out platoon situations if we need to. But that's the lineup right now. Again, the newest addition to it was Manny Machado last episode. So we skipped up until the arbitration hearings so the panel sides with Dominic Leon so he'll get that they sided with Ken Giles and Stevenson they agreed with us Aaron Judge and Kevin Sechrist 
Okay, so uh, for Mookie, Beth decided with us, and panel sided with Judge. So we'll check their contracts out in a second. I think that's almost about it. His overall is down a little bit. Hey, Manny Machado is good. Miggy is good. Aaron Judge is good. Satisfied. Wants to be making more, and he does deserve it, but we needed to just offer him arbitration. We probably could have given him a little bit more, but he'll be fine with it. And everyone else is good. I don't think we're going to change our lineup anymore right now. We're completely overpaying Brian Batista, but we wanted to make sure we had that vet veteran backstop there off the bench. So David Price, last look at the rotation. Tehran. Stevenson still wants to be the ace. He still might be in the next season or two, especially if we end up trading away or losing Price to free agency. But I think we locked him up for a while, so it'll be more likely if we trade him. But that'll only be if he's struggling. So Joe Jimenez in the, in the bullpen now. Kevin Seacrest. Kelvin Herrera. That's going to pretty much be it, I think. Let's we'll simulate the rest of the offseason. Final days to renew contracts. We're good. We don't need to do any of that. Let's just double check. And we're good. Alright, so we're just going to call up some people to even out the minor league rosters. We have 25 with us. We need to move some double-A guys to triple-A or to single-A. So let's see. I think we'll move Junior Rodriguez up to triple-A because double-A has plenty of relievers so we can move him up to triple a okay we'll see how he progresses ozzy reyes is in triple a for us felipe vaccaro all right so pj pike is there we're good with first base we don't oh we can move kevin corbett to double a and then we'll have to move a couple others to triple A. Anyone from second base that can move up? No. Yeah, we're not going to move any of those guys from third. We move Terry Root off up to triple-A, so we need to clear a couple more. We can move Craig Taylor. He can start in center for the triple-A squad. There we go. John Machado can go up to triple-A too. We'll have Douglas Bullard, who was our first round draft pick last season, or this past season. He can start in double-A. The third Machado in the organization. He'll go up to AAA for now. And that is pretty much going to be it now. We'll simulate the last couple days. Contracts are all renewed already. But that will officially do it here from MLB The Show 18 Detroit Tigers Franchise Mode. If you guys enjoyed Season 4, be sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below with this off season. I'll see you guys in MLB The Show 19, where we'll pick up with Season 5 and probably Season 6. So on the note, if you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. And we'll see everybody next time.